welcome to Utah Helicopter Pocatello. My name is Marcus Fuchs and I'm going to be talking about effects of density altitude. So, we can either have low density altitude or high density altitude. So on a low density altitude day, it could either be cold or just a high pressure outside. We're going to use blue air molecules because they're cold. So, on a high density altitude day, we're going to have more molecules interacting with our airfoil. So we'll have more bouncing off the bottom to push our blade up and more air molecules going over the top creating that low pressure. On a high density altitude day, if it was really hot outside or it was a low pressure day outside, we'll have less molecules and I drew just as many as the cold. We'll have less molecules to interact with our airfoil here which will produce less lift. We'll have less going over the top to produce that low pressure. So in turn, in our lift equation, our one half air pressure is the factor here. So if we have high density altitude, we're either gonna need a higher angle of attack or a higher velocity or a higher surface area. We can't really change the surface area of our blade, so we can either go faster, get a higher angle of attack or a coefficient of lift. And when we get a higher coefficient of lift, it's going to require more power from the engine. It's going to um, put more drag on our blades, so we will have less performance when it's a high density altitude day.